Hello there, I am Janko with my Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we took on... What did we do? We took on the desert route. And yeah, we got our root fossil, the claw fossil sank. And yeah, I did a couple things off screen. And I did do off screen training because like, I forgot we didn't ever do the cycling road. So I did the cycling road off screen, but that's the only off screen training I did. Um, at level 28. Uh, Shrooms learned uh, counter, so yeah, it's cool. And then also, I got enough coins to buy the TM35 for flamethrower at the game corner, and I also decided to teach overheat to my uh, plane. So there's that. And it's not so about it, uh, as goes well any changes. We're back in Pedalburg to take on the gym, of course, now that we have four badges. So let's go inside. Blaine is up front, obviously. Okay. Hey, how's it going, Champion Bound Grotel? The doors to this gym open when you beat the waiting trainers. Whoops, the doors in this room are already open, so don't attack me. The po the trainers of Pebble Gym will use all kinds of items. The doors, the door at the left leads to the speed room. The door to the right leads to the accuracy room. The room name will be on the door, so choose carefully. Once you've chosen the door, chosen the door, well, hey, go for it. This gym, gym, this gym uses um, normal type Pokemon, so yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna take on all the trainers just for the experience, so let's start with the accuracy room, I guess. This I would like to go through. And let's take on this person. I think she has like a Delcaddy or something. They all use normal type Pokemon, like Lightning, Zangoose, Delcaddy, uh, stuff like that. Yeah, Delcaddy. That's a big meow you got there. Okay, so let's actually rearrange some of this. Okay, there we go. Nice. I like it nice and organized. Gets a shockwave. This gym is actually somewhat hard if you have trouble with stuff, but we should be fine. So you're gonna use like a super potion, so I'll just use another double kick. Super potion. Oh, you guys, a hyper potion. Of course you are. Wait, why would you need to use an X accuracy when you're using Shockwave that never misses? Because I don't have, um, like, a dive or dig or fly on my plane. Silly goose. Um, let's faint it with an Ember. Just gonna use another Shockwave, okay. So the thing is, my plane doesn't have that great of a fighting type move, but only is double kick right now. So that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge, but oh well. There goes the duck caddy. Thanks for the twelve dollars and forty-eight cents. Okay, recovery room. Okay, I'll take on this room, I guess. What was weird in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire for this gym, though, is that, like, when you went into the gym leader's room, you'd automatically, like, it'd be a cutscene, you'd automatically have to face your dad. But in like the original Ruby Sapphire and Emerald, or in this case Ruby and Sapphire, even though I'm playing Emerald, uh, you could go in the gym with this room and you didn't have to bow to your dad right away. I mean, like you had the option of exiting just in case you were just checking to see if you were, if there was like another room you had to go through or something like that. A slack off. Okay, let's use double kick. Ah, oh, it didn't do half. That's not gonna faint it then. Dang it. I'm not going. I'm not doing so hot. Okay, that's not gonna be very effective because it's ghost type, but uh, uh, I guess it's I don't know. Messed up there. Okay, citrus berry. I'll take a citrus berry for like a hyper potion. Yeah, okay. There we go. Stop this thing. Of course, now I get the critical hit, but it's convenient, I guess. That's all he had was a slackoth. Okay. Just to be safe, I'm gonna heal a little bit. So let's see here. Here's my TMs, by the way. <laughs> okay, um. I have plenty of potions. That should be good. I wanna be full healed, but just somewhat healed. <laughs> One hit KO room. Okay, this will be dangerous, I bet. This guy probably. This probably, guys. This guy. Okay, I can't talk today. This guy probably has, like, a Zangoose or something. Let's see what you have. Oh, it's a one crit room or something. I I, I misread that. I misread that completely. I don't even know if that's the right thing it said. See, so yeah, I just misread it to where I can. Oh no, this bag, bag, this Vigoroth um is actually really good. It doesn't have the ability where 
Uh, like Slacking and Slakoth, where it can only attack every other turn. So I gotta watch out for it. It's just... Uh, no! No, 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 no. Okay, good. It didn't get a critical hit. That was close. Level 28, yay. Oh, now you're trying to win bulk up? Um... Guess I can get rid of Ember. I'm not gonna keep bulk up, I have another move in mind for that instead. Gym Wardius Room, okay. Okay, yeah. Let's just move on. Let's just go to the other room. Defense Room. Let's go through, haha. <laughs> yeah, let's switch to Shrooms, actually. Okay, sorry for the interruption. I think I switched us rooms. I'm, I have a oh, short time memory loss today. Okay, there we go. So let's just talk to this person. Defense room. Who needs defense when I got a speedy move? <laughs> I don't uh, I have mock punch, I guess, but we'll see what happens. Ooh, wiggly tough. That's something new, something from the Kanto region. I'm gonna try my counter move. Oh yeah, that, that's... With Oracle. Yeah, okay, there we go. Counter, yeah. She won't KO it. Wait, no, it didn't. It didn't want to KO it. Ha, oh, man. Let's use the red fruit. Now, if I faint because of. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we both healed. Okay, that was fun while it lasted, Wiggly Tough, but now you have to go down. Mock Bunch. No, double edge. I, I had a feeling that may have KO'd me. Wow, okay, that's not good. Shumus is dead now. Double kick. What do you know, my Blaine took down the Wigglytuff. Okay, with that said, I still need to heal though, so I'll, I'll be right back. Wait, do I have a vibe? How many vibes do I have, actually? I think I only have like one or two. Two. I might as well use a revive. I don't really use revives other than the Pokemon League. So let's just revive that. Okay, so. We don't actually have to go to the Pokemon Center, actually, I'm bad. Um. Sort of pop. So there we go. Nice. And let's go to the next room. Okay, room. I think one hit room. I right, still. So I'm gonna read that again just as soon as like. Okay, we have a vid through here. Wait, what this is supposed to say? One hit KO room. It says. Okay, but well, we talk about critical hits, you know. Strength room. So I like to go through. And let's take on this trainer. Nice. This is Zangus I was talking about. That's purple nails or something. Purple claws. <laughs> Luck punch. Okay, easy enough. I'm just use mock punch again. Nice. Level 29, yay. And I'm pretty sure this is still the gym waiter's room, yep.
Did I battle up? I think I'm missing like one or two more trainers, but I'm not exactly sure. Another battle. A swallow. I guess that's still normal type, I guess. But come on. So this isn't a good matchup at all. I just switch. Hey, okay. But take down this wall is actually pretty strategic, I guess. Just bring it with the headbutt. Come on. There we go. Nice. That swallow caught me off guard there. Defense room, we've already been through it, right? Just double checking. Yeah, we have. I think there's one more battle we have to do. The confusion room, nice. Rock punch. Oh, of course. I'm confused now. But not for long. It's about to use Focus Punch. There we go. Sorry for the interruption again. Oh well. But here, we beat the cool trainer. We beat the cool trainer. I like how that sounds. The cool trainer. And I think that's all the trainers in this gym. Except for... Yeah, I think... I'm just gonna say that's all the trainers. And I'm gonna go heal real quick, so I'll be right back. Let's make our way to the gym later room. I have Blaine up front, so just in case you guys were wondering. So, we just go through all these rooms. And, yeah. You'll make your way to the gym later soon, eventually. Yeah, so let's talk to our dad, actually. Norman. Hmm, so you need to get four gym badges. Fine, as I promised, we will have a Pokemon battle. Gortle, I'm so happy that I can have a real battle with my own child. But a battle is a battle. I will do everything in my power as a gym leader to win. Gordo, you better give it to your best shot, too. Oh yes, I'm gonna give him more than just my best shot, Dad. Ha ha ha. Spinda, huh? Okay. Um, I'm gonna get a couple bulk ups, you know, moving. Just to first of all. Okay, you have a side beam. Okay, that's a different idea. I can just take the hit. Yeah. Okay, fine. Double team. Or not double team, double kick. Okay, there we go. There goes a spinda. Oh man, this is gonna be one of the hardest Pokemon on his team to take down. Oh man, this Vigoroth. Double kick again, I guess. That's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt. Okay, it didn't hurt as bad. 
Critical hit, yes. I took it down, guys. I took the Vigoroth down. I'm gonna switch to Shrooms. I feel like the Swine Noon's gonna give me a bit of trouble, so I'm gonna Leech Seed it. If I wouldn't even know he's gonna use Belly Drum, I would've just gone for the... I would've just gone for the, you know, the Mock Punch. But we'll see how this plays out. I guess I can go for the Mock Punch right now. There we go, nice. Unlike in Rubin Sapphire, in Emerald he actually has just one slacking. We should this thing. Wow, that, that's... Uh, I made it fall asleep, apparently. Okay, he evaded the attack. Um, she let's go for the Mach Punch then. It's lucky that I fell asleep like that. Mega Drain. No, no, I wanted this battle to be a challenge. If it's gonna, if I'm gonna win like this, I, man, wake up so I can fight you honorably. No, I don't want to win like this, Dad. I don't want to win like this, Dad. Jeez. <sighs> yes, you woke up. Haha. -ha. There we go. I don't want to like this stat, so you're doing the right thing. I think my stat boost went down. Double kick. Oh, come on. Come on. Do you see that? Bulk up then. If you get a free healing turn, I get a free bulk up turn. Hi, you're wolfing around. Okay, you're gonna hurt me. I'm gonna take the time to heal. Wait, I don't, I don't, no, I don't want to see anything, I don't, never mind. Um, I know you're going to hurt me, so I might as well go for the flamethrower. Okay, there we go, okay, fine. So my two main Pokemon I was getting used for this battle out. She should go tonight. Let's swap. Go low, it's accuracy, you know? Well, when it's accuracy for like, ah, okay, that, that good, kind of, yeah. Okay, so he's gonna attack this turn, so I'm gonna go for the takedown. Ah, still not enough. Let's slap again. Okay, he's gonna attack this turn, so again, I'm gonna just take down. Ah. Okay, this isn't good. This is not good. Okay, this isn't good at all. Okay, I'm asleep now. Bag. The fruit. Okay. Faint attack, okay. Okay, 
pick down. Oh, Fent Attack never misses. Oh no. I can get one good takedown out of this. Okay, I'm running out of options here, but we'll see what happens. Um, where should I go to? Let's go speedy, I guess. around okay okay that sh this should do it oh come on come on thank you for missing haha <laughs> okay that was somewhat tough battle I, I can't. I can't believe it, Gretel. I lost you, Gretel. But what was the rules? She'll take this. Thanks for the $31, Dad. The balance badge from Dad. How nice. You can use the HM03 out surf out of water. He gives you 1042 facade, which is actually a pretty cool move. I might teach that to my line or something. I'm not sure though. I might get rid of um. Okay, uh, here's Wally's dad again. He's gonna take me to his house. Uh, but I think I might get rid of um. Otis Sleuth for fa facade, because there's only one invent. Or one thing in the Pokemon in Swalk the Guide I want to do with Otis Ruth, but we'll see what happens. HMR3 serve. Yes. Thank you. So, let's see here. Let's do, let's do a couple things. Stitch facade. Give it a. Give it our sooth. I don't need our sooth. And let's use. Let's teach surf too. We're gonna teach surf to actually pull up her, not prime, but pull up her repeater. Let's give it a water gun. Nice. And my team is pretty beat up right now. Uh, so this has been the end of my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide part. In the next part, we'll take on surfing locations. I'll teach you where to surf and stuff. So yeah, this has been Dragon Gold again. I would like to visit again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide.